Hello everyone, all praises to the Most High. My name is Netta and it is my honor to share the word of the Most High with you. The Most High has challenged each of us awakened ones to share his word and to sound the alarm when we see the signs of our Messiah Yeshua's um, imminent return. The Bible is clear that no man knows the day nor the hour, only the Father. However, he did leave us signs to watch for and provided instructions on what we are to do. It is time to repent. Bible prophecy is here. So if anyone is thinking that a lot of this stuff is happening, um, like um, the, and it's happening so quickly, um, from strange events in the sky, the weather, the economy, politics, and then just people in general. There are many who believe that all of these events are easily explained away through science and that people have talked about the end of the world for centuries, but nothing has changed. The Bible talks about this as well. Remember, the same things were said in the days before the flood. In fact, the Bible even prophesizes the coming of the Messiah will be as the days of Noah. I will talk more about that later in the video. The difference between current events unfolding in the past is that the missing piece that is different today is now occurring. And that is the Most High's people are being awakened to their true identity and are calling out to the Most High in, in repentance. For the many who still believe that they are able to continue to sin, be unaccountable for all of the atrocities that have been done to the Most High's people, and think that they will be somehow raptured up um, um, to escape judgment, um, you know, and, and if they count 10 times, they get the breakthrough, if they pay a bunch of tithes and offering or just um, go to church every Sunday or most Sundays or just be what they define as a good person, um, they're going to be ruptured up. Let me tell you right now, that's a lie. Judgment will come and there will be accountability. Now, if you are still in Christianity, um, some of what I'm saying will probably offend you. But I'm saying to get outside of that because you are not receiving the full truth. I know you love your pastor and, and the fellowship and all those things. But you are not receiving the truth. Now, there's also the those who say that, you know, Christianity um, was good for my um, all these centuries and it's good for my grandma and, and my grandpa and all those people and so it's good enough today let me tell you it is not now that you are hearing the truth you will be held accountable for it period okay so but let me tell you right now it was nothing but his grace that allowed us and still saved us and sustained us until the time of the awakening which is now so I urge you to quickly pray to the Most High for guidance, repentance, and then humble yourselves before him that you are accounted worthy to stand beside, to stand before Messiah and escape what's coming. What you see happening now is only the beginning. It's all happening so quickly that the news has just stopped even they just have resorted to completely ignore it and selectively show what they want people to know, which is whatever um, number 45 is doing. However, it is not working. They are not stopping the awakening, nor shall they stop judgment. Remember, YouTube went down last week and the time will come that the Internet will likely go dark just to avoid the truth. So we're going to go into scripture, but first I do want to show a quick video that shows you the hardness of hearts against the people of the Most High.
seeing that, you see how even with the atrocities, and that's not even a, a hair of the atrocities that have been shown, that, that have been done to the Most High, over to the Most High's people over the years, over the centuries, okay? And, and they're still not repentant. Let's go into Luke chapter 21, 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram and lo, a horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said unto Abram, know of a certainty that the seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs and shall serve them and they shall afflict them 400 years. So a lot of people are out here um, and a lot of people who read this think that um, they're talking about the original Egypt. They are not. You can um, go onto my blog to um, listen to that argument. They are talking about now. And the Lord shall scatter them among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor their fathers have known, even wood and stone. And that wood and stone is like this cross that we like to use. The Muslims like to use the stones. It's not it. In Baruch 4, 14 through 16, let them that dwell about Zion come. And remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting have brought upon them. For he hath brought a nation from far, a shameless nation, and of a strange language, who neither reference old men nor pity child. These have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow, which is Israel, and left her that was alone, desolate, without daughters. So this is prophesied in several books and I'm sharing several books because the Most High has a pattern in where he will give his message just like in, in the commandments where he says that there has to be a, a wit, two, a, two additional witnesses. Well, he's got it in these scriptures. Book 1 of Enoch 103, 12, 13. Those who hated us, those who goaded us, were masters of us. And to those who hated us, we bowed our necks, but they did not have mercy on us. We sought to escape from them so that we might flee and be at rest. But we found no place where we might flee and be safe from them. Who does that sound like? This is Enoch, the book that they pulled out the Bible. We complained about them to the rulers in our distress and cried out against those who devoured us. But they took no notice of our cries and did not wish to listen to our voice. And they helped those who plundered us and devoured us and those who made us few. And they concealed their wrongdoing and did not remove from us the yoke of those who devoured us and scattered us and killed us. And they concealed our slaughter and did not remember that they had raised their hands against us. This is all prophesied. In the video, previous video that I showed you, you saw all the atrocities. Some that um, many of you probably never even knew occurred. And then you see some of the comments out of some of the boards, um, and the, especially the one from 2014, when we talk reparations. And they're saying no. Why should we spend all that money? Remember, that was 770, 777 trillion of dollars is the estimate. And by the way, the UN actually recommended to the US that they pay reparations and they still say no. So yeah, they're having a celebration in 2019. But let's think about that celebration. What are you celebrating? That you have enslaved us, that you, you ripped us from our homes, you ripped our children, our families away, you killed us, you're still killing us. And you want to celebrate that? Oh, and by the way, um, we're not going to pay you for all the damage that we've done. But let me tell you, you will pay. You're going to pay through the most high, through judgment. Anybody that don't like it, I don't know what else to tell you. Okay, I'm not saying this, it's the word. 
Luke 21, 25, 26. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts felling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So you see everyone looking in the sky and that's where some of the next video um, is going to come from. They're looking in the sky. They're talking about this planet Nubaru or Wormwood. They're talking about the hurricanes and, and, and they're coming so plentiful that the news is not even talking about all of them. They talk about one at a time because they're five and three and four and five are coming at a time. And each of them are getting more and more catastrophic. Which we know some of this stuff is man-made, but it's also judgment. Matthew twenty four twenty nine. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon should not give her light and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. In Isaiah, for those who think only Old Testament or only New Testament, I got scripture for you out of both. And, and let's stop talking about the, the Most High never separated into Old and New Testament. That's some stuff that the Council of Nicaea did. Okay, quit looking at it as two separate entities. Isaiah 13, 6 through 8. Howl ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt and they shall be afraid. Pings and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. And that's in Isaiah 13, 9 through 11. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil and for the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, every a man, even a man than the gold wedge of Ophir. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. Ezekiel 32, 7 and 8. And when I shall put thee out, I will cover the heaven and make the stars thereof dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud and the moon shall not give her light. All the bright lights of heaven will I make dark over thee and set darkness upon thy land, saith the Lord. In Revelation 6, 12 through 14. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. And lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. And the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell into the earth. Even as a fig tree casts her untimely figs. When she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll. When it is rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. So in this next video, you're actually going to see some weather events. You're going to see a whole islands disappear. You're going to see all kind of stuff that they're not talking about, but it's all in fulfillment of Bible prophecy.
Luke 21, 27, 28. And then they're going to see all these things, right? Shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory? And when these begin, things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your hands for your redemption draweth nigh. It's coming. It's just about here, y'all. Luke 21, 29. 31 and he spake to them a parable behold the fig tree and all the trees when they now shoot forth ye see and know of your own self that summer is now nigh at hand so likewise ye when ye see these things come to pass know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand Luke 21 32 verily I say unto you this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. So the generation that starts seeing all these things will not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourself, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. So while we're getting interested in selfies and getting breakthroughs and all about me, the stuff that we got going on now, this foolishness. Don't get caught up in this stuff where it comes upon, comes upon you unaware. Matthew 24, but as the days of Noah were, okay? so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage until the day of the Noah, to the day that Noah entered into the ark. And know not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So the other thing is what people like to do is to take this verse 39 and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. Think about that. Took them all away. So they want to use that verse as rapture. When they talk about took them all away, you have to look and see who are they talking about. And they were talking about they were eating, drinking, and marrying. The ones who are out there in the world doing whatever they wanted to do. Those are the ones that got took away. Meaning they got washed away and they got killed. That's what that means. Not that you're going to get raptured up. Start reading and understanding the word of the Most High and understanding the context. But don't get caught up that it doesn't specifically say certain things because that's the other deception. Is people out here, well, it doesn't say this, so that means I can keep doing that. You keep on doing that. You better check the commandments. Anyway, that's a whole different thing. So. Time is short. The warning signs are here as was foretold. Repent while there is still time. The current ways of this world is fastly ending before your very eyes. Now, of course, I couldn't list everything. That can be left to your own research. But please repent. Please, while there is still time, the current ways of this world is fastly ending. The time of the Gentiles are in the last edges of fulfillment. It's done. The way that we have been operating is over. Now, this is going to be difficult for some to absorb or understand, but there's no time for wavering. There's no time for being arrogant and pissed off. And yes, I could being pissed off because you're not going to be on the top or whatever okay because you need to figure out very quickly that if your current whether or not your current belief whatever that is if you're in Christianity if you're Muslim if you're what the Buddha is whatever you better figure out very quickly if your current belief is the truth because if it's not okay and you are gonna have to figure that out you need to pray to the Most High humble and seek the truth and repent while there is still time. All this stuff that you're seeing happening is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This is nothing compared to what 
judgment is truly going to be. Luke 21, 36. So watch the four, therefore, and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Now, for those of you who are um, still curious um, or want to learn more about um, where the modern biblical Israelites are today, um, I do have the, a blog, um, if you've seen the other videos, um, where are the biblical Israelites today. Um, it's on WordPress. I'll actually have that in a moment. Also, if you're in Christianity, I was in Christianity all my life. I'm about to be 50. Okay. Um, there's no such thing. So if you were in Christianity and you have been awakened, but you think you can mix the two, you cannot mix the two. Okay. So um, there's a blog post on that. I'll probably do a video on that soon as well. Um, and lastly, again, if you're still in um, Christianity, um, I do have a video, and that was actually the first video of cunning, deception, and manipulation, um, the tactics of modern Christianity that they are used, that we have been tricked, okay? And Christians have been kept in the dark. And you're going to have to humble yourself. You're going to be disturbed. You might even be offended. Especially because I actually go after a video um, of T.D. Jakes. So if a bunch of you are following him, I don't know what to tell you. The truth is the truth. The truth will make you free. Okay. Um, but you can take a look at that video. There are two parts to that video. And again, um, my website, um, the blog post. Um, and then on the blog, I actually have um, a lot of the um, people that I actually follow on YouTube and, and read some of their blogs and stuff. So I actually do have that out on the blog of uh, people that you can follow. Um, but the biggest thing that's most important is you have to study and learn for yourself. Study and know that word for yourself because the time's going to come when they're going to try to take all the word. The online Bible's going to be gone. There might even be a crazy time where they get rid of the physical Bibles and you are going to have to know you're going to have you're going to be dependent to be able to recite and call back to what you've learned. And that was actually promised to us in the Bible. But you have to study first to be able to have anything called back to your remembrance. So don't trust and and follow on every word because I'm a person. I'm human. I don't know everything. And not one of these teachers out here know everything. And they don't have all the answers. And everybody thinks they're right. You talk to the Most High. You humble yourself. And you look for His guidance. And the Holy Spirit, the uh, Ruach HaKadosh that's in you. To teach you and show you the way. And read those words. Even the words of the Bibles. Of the books that they pulled out. There's a reason why they pulled it out because it's telling everything that happens now. And you can start with 2nd Esdras chapter 15, um, Baruch, Book of Enoch, the Book of Jasher, the Book of Jubilees. These books, a lot of these books have been referenced in the Bible. And they pulled them out. And they pulled it out because it was going to tell you the truth. So anyway, Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It's time to get the knowledge, y'all. I love you. Reach out if you need me. I would, I would reach back out to you. All praises to the Most High. Shalom. Peace.